Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Samuel Lothori Ocha. Today is uh, Saturday, the second day of April 2020, 2022. Uh, we are bringing you, uh, we are bringing you the weekly analysis as usual. And we are starting with DSY again. Uh, now we are in a turning point. Last week I said it. You must be very careful whenever we are at the turning point of a major trend, a major trend reversal. That's where we are. And DSY, we are looking for more push up to give us maybe 100 or a bit higher than 100, but not the most it will happen. We just think it if probabilities we may get there. But if we, if, we, if we don't get there, when the selling begins, we know it has started. This is a daily chart and we can see we are approaching the end of whatever we are expecting, the Z wave, okay? So uh, go down to four hours. Going down to four hours, we are we are expecting five waves to we are expecting five waves to end around hundred. Maybe this is wave one. We maybe two, three, four, five. Just know that we are not selling for now unless we see. A reason to sell. Okay, but for now, I'm expecting a new high from here. If it will my may end any way around this level. So that's my own view on DSY. Going down to uh going down to USD. Going down to USD. Know that the you know, USD, the reverse is what we are expecting. The reverse is what we will expect. That is the opposite, opposite move of DSY is what happens in Euro USD. So we have USD, this is four hours, and the, if you check, we are expecting something like this to go up. Now we're expecting it to go down. You can see the sometimes we, we differ. DSY, we have a flat here, but here we have. Uh, at, um, we have a zigzag, but it's all correction. So we are looking for move down. So if, if I get three weeks pull back, I will place a cell, top loss will be here. That's all I can say on this very one. Uh, what next? Okay. Uh, we are going down to USD card. we we'll go down to USD cards. <clears throat> USD cards. USD cards. We have one, two, three, four, five. Now, I don't know whether we are going to get a lower with five. You know, this is another reversal zone. So, here we need to be very careful because of we are, we are in a reversal zone. Okay. Uh, for us to buy, let us see the price. If price continues to go up strongly and press this level we're, we're for, then we know that we're five is over. But if not, we're five might be over, but to confirm it is over, we, we need to go above here. But if we get uh, three waves move to this level and three waves move to down, I would like to buy from here, stop loss here. But if I get a sharp move that breaks this level, I look for buy after the break of this level. Then if I get a new low, maybe from here, 
and I will now begin to plan to buy from here. You know, in a bigger time frame, we expect the price to drop to this level, but it seems it not to drop to this level again. But time will tell. All I can say is that above here, prepare for buy. Lower here, prepare for buy. I don't want to sell again. Even if I see sell set up from here, I will not sell. Okay, let's move to the next pair. Yes, DHF. Yes, DHF. <clears throat> Let's see daily. For the past three weeks, I've been telling you that I'm expecting this to happen. It's, it's not looking to be a reality. You know, I said that we like, we like to have this big A, B, C. So it seems I'm correct. But let us see what for. Sorry. Um, for our chat, chat. So now, if you're not on the selling, the selling the selling be here anyway. I sold it here. When this happened, I closed. I sold it again. Then uh, it is still open. I won't close it. And because I believe that we are going to get another sale from here. So watch out for this card of A, B, C. Then that is between 9300 to 93. Between 0 0.928, 0 0.929, 0 0.93, 0 0.9331. Look for sales setup. Then here is the minimum target. Though we may have the bigger drop, but for now, target this level. France USD. France USD. Uh, SC Daily as well. Okay, France USD. Sorry. Yeah, France, France USD. We have been in correction on the, on the third of June. Of first of June last year till now, but it seems the correction has ended on 15th of, of March. You no, know, I think even if the price will still go down, I think you may, you may not have a, a new low. 1.30 might be the lowest we, we will have. So, but this is daily. Let's take a look at four hours to help us get more ideas. So this is four hours. And you can see we have gotten one, two, three, four, five, five waves. And we have gotten an A, B, C. Though it is deep, but you know, as long as uh, wave two can be at 9.9% of wave one, but it can't go lower than wave one. So this wave two is still in place. If price begins to go up, which I, I can only buy you know, uh, pounds USD. I cannot sell because to me, this is the beginning of a new move that will give us a higher price. So we don't know whether it will be uh, swift and go straight to this, which is the, min the minimum of wave thread, or whether it will, it will respect the ABC before it's now move again. We will get to this level and we get an A, B, C, then it will go again. Or it may be sharp, I don't know yet. But all I can say is that even if we are selling you know, USD, I cannot sell the pounds USD because sometimes the pay that the pay that goes together, one might be consolidating, the other will be either buying or selling. So in this case, uh 
uh, your, your, your USD might be selling fast and vast USD might be consolidating. Then the two will begin to move the same direction again. So it's either you choose to sell Euro USD or you wait, unless you can manage the two trades, but they are tend to get they tend to go together, but not perfectly. Maybe 70 to 80 percent of the time they go together. Sometimes they disagree, but they are more agree than disagree. Okay, so let's move. Let's move AUD USD. Let's see daily. Okay. All right. Uh, here is a reversal zone on daily. Here is a, we, are, we are in a reversal zone. So now what do we expect? Can we get this ABC? You know, last, by, last week I said that as long as this channel is broken, because I, I know I'm not interested in selling. Rather, if I see this ABC, I will buy. So since then, it is trying to make uh, a direction. It's just struggling to either start selling or start buying, you know? All this move, we are waiting for either the break of this place. So now this is what I would like to see. If I see this, If I see the price for this level, I would, I would, I would I prefer to buy than to sell. So if I see a move that will give me something like this, then I, I, will, I, will, I will to buy from here because on daily on daily time frame the market is going up. Okay. But if I see a shot, there was a there is a type of move I will see, then I will know that the selling will go far. But if I see if, if I don't see that type of move, I'll prefer to buy. So you know, this is a nice not, not a learning class. If you want to learn, then you join the class, we teach you. With other students together. This is the USD. Is that going up? In, in my opinion, the selling that is the correction ended here. That's my opinion. WSYXZ is ended here. So whatever is happening here is correction or pullback. So let us see for hours. So now, is it either we have a running flat or expanding flat? So there's no clear, there's no clear uh, structure here, either to buy or to sell. So in, in, in this type of case, I prefer to leave the chart for the meantime and focus on other charts until I see a clear reason to either buy or sell. So. So maybe if we can get price down to this level, I may look for buy setup from here. If not, I'll vote about it and watch out for other pays. Okay. Mm.
Okay. You know JPY. No, I you know JPY. You know JPY. We can see uh, in our daily chart. We also see that after this move, we get a flat looking correction. It rather made a zigzag at the end of its correction. And since then, we have a sharp move up. So, what does this tell us? Simple look for buy. The, if the selling can only make sense based on one hour. Okay, so and anything above four hours, selling doesn't make sense. And you can see, after all this move, we expect at least the price to give us 3% or 61.8% correction before we start buying. So selling makes sense. Let's go down to one hour. <clears throat> so now uh, the market is still struggling to give us a reasonable correction. But to me, it, it doesn't make sense trying to buy again from here. Rather, I would like to see price go to 131, 130, 129. So to me, as, as price have broken this first lower low, give us another second lower low. The only thing I can do is I can sell stop loss will be here. Because I know even if we, we have a we get a price going up, it cannot take this out for now. It's not giving us a deeper pullback. Okay. For those who like ch channeling, you can take this as a, 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 another gu guide. You can see a broken channel. Okay. So an market is uh, almost replaced it. Okay, so if, 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 if that the trade that have very little risk is this. Maybe you place a sales stop from here, stop loss here, take profits around this area. It's up to you to check, but for me, I don't, I don't think we are, we're gonna have a buy that, that, that will take this out. We start getting deeper replacement or pullback. Pounds JPY, sorry, USD JPY. Let's see daily. Same story. After this big move, is now correcting. Now the correction. How long or how deep will it gonna go? And uh, for me, I see this as an opportunity to sell. Okay, let me check the percentage of uh, the bearish move. Let me see, let me check, check, check the percentage from here to here. Okay, whenever I'm looking for a wave B or wave Y and um, our wave X, I would like it to touch at least 50% of, of the with air correction. So to me, we are almost there. So selling this with a little move up is a good idea. And as a matter of fact, this, this is one of the trades I will take when market opens on Monday. Okay, whether it is going up or going down, I don't care much. I will take the trade, stop loss will be here. Then uh, whenever the market Whenever the market gives me a big sell, I, I move my stop loss from here to here. When price goes down, okay? Because we may likely end up getting double zigzag. That is A, B, C, another A, B, C, another, another A, B, C. So we may get a deeper selling. But for now, let us focus on the first 
anticipated A, B, C. Let me label it. A, B, C. This is the first thing I'm expecting when my gate opens. Pans J, P, Y. Something similar we have here. We can see also after the big move, we are cutting with A, it will be, let me go to two hours. Let me just see two hours on this. So, but on this one, I would not like to sell because the wave B pullback of wave A is so below 50%. Not the most, it must go to 50%, but I, I, I like to see 50 or 61.8 because sometimes when you think it is shallow, you place a cell, it can go down and go up to complete it. So I rather wait for it to complete or when it goes lower than the lower than this place, then I can sell. So either you sell below here, or you sell at fifty and six one point eight. That's my advice. That's my how I trade. Okay. So let's move. Good. In gold, after the move, the big move again, we're looking for an ABC, okay, which have started. Now we are getting a complex with B. You know, this with uh, with A. I mean, this can be with A. Do I, I label it ABC, but it can be just with A. Let me call it with A, for sake of clarity. So. Let me remove all this. Let me, let me just call it with A. The reason is though it is uh, since we since we are in, we are in correction, the move is just too big to be with A. But I have no option. That's what I can see here. So this is with A to me. And uh, in that case, I would like to, I would like to see it retrace. I want to see it retrace at least 50 or 1.8% of this entire move. Okay. Um, okay, now this is one, one, two, three, four, five with A, then I'm looking for an A, B, C, with B, then with C. So now Good is selling, but because of this disruption, I rather miss the selling if it continues, or I sell below this with A. Then if I see this A, B, C, I'll have more confidence. I'll have more confidence than uh, just selling blindly from here, since I see that we can get a move higher. So for me, before I sell gold, I would like to see 1980, 81, 87, 88, or even 2000. If I sell gold again, okay, that's my own idea. Uh, silver is somehow uh, giving us something not compatible with gold. You know, they, they move together, but sometimes. They disagree, they, they disagree with certain degrees. Okay, now the structure of, let me go to two hours again. The structure of silver is uh, giving us ABC. This ABC is clear, you know, go to give us A here. 
But Sifa has given us an ABC, which is a zigzag, and gave us another clear ABC, which is an X. Then we, we are looking for another ABC. Then you must know that the, the ABC can be, let me make it, the, the ABC can be this, A, B, C. Or the ABC can be able like this, A, then the B of uh, the B of it can make uh, the B, uh, the ABC can make can give us internal B, which is A B C, and therefore we get A B C instead of. Uh, instead of uh, A, B, C. Why am I showing you all this? Simple, so that you decide if you can sell from, if you wait for this to happen, you may miss the selling. It may not happen, but you can say, you, you don't presume it won't happen. You cannot sell, say it won't happen. Then you see it going up. So it's, it's less for you. Since here is the stop loss, whether you will, maybe if I may advise you, if you are trading with one lot, you can enter sell based on this reversal at 0 0.5. Then if it goes up again, you enter 0 0.5 from here again, stop loss here. Then when it, when it goes down, you make more profit. But for me, I would like to see it come to this level before I sell. I don't want to sell it from here. If I miss it, I miss it. Okay, so that is it. We cannot get all the trades. Platinum. Let's see if I want some platinum. Now, platinum. Uh, just like good, gave us a very big one, two, three, four, five, which is worth A to me. And since this is worth A, I would like to see it give us 50% or small percentage before the next sell. So that's all I can say about platinum. This is worth A. Then I'm looking for B. After B, then C, we sell. So in this one, I don't take courage buy or sell for now until we see the price move to this level. Or if you can trade, if you, if, if, if you want to take the risk, you can place a buy stop, buy stop here, stop loss here. With, with this, this loss out, then target this, okay? So, but the best thing is to wait for it to come to this level before you sell. Oil, oil, I don't have much to say on oil, except uh, that we are yet to get to our target. Last week, I told you oil will turn around this level, and after that, we are gonna get wave C. Now, this is why I tell you that I, I, I like to see the wave B give us 50 or 61%. Now, see the, the wave B turned at 1.8, okay? And once this happens, the fear of going higher will be lesser. Though it can still go to higher. If the, uh, if the, if it, if it's trying to make um, flat, but for now, with all this move, I don't expect it. So even if you see, we, we get the pullback, it won't be much. Selling continues until we see we see 84, 83, 81, 80, even 76. Before we talk about the buying again. Okay, uh, what next? Mm, next, uh, US 100, US 30, then Bitcoin. US 100. US hundred. Uh, 
Minus 100. Okay. Mm. <clears throat> as long as this level is not taken out, the selling, at least, at least a pullback will happen. Okay. But let me, let's go to Delhi. It seems it will still go down and give us a new low. Okay. But uh, the way the market looks, we may not get it. We may get it. So now I like to give you what is what will be saved. So what and what I see will be saved here is that we are, we are, we are going to get an A, B, C. Okay. I don't want to label it because before I label it, the A will be complete. Now the way, the way A to me is not complete. So if I get an A, then I will look for B and C. This is the minimum we, we will get. We can get a selling and give us a new loan. That is from the current correction. But for now, uh, we can just, we can just uh, look for ABC here and check whether we are get buying or it will drop further. We are starting. We'll start uh, <clears throat> you can see A, B, C. So this is where four. Are we going to get A, B, C? That is W, X, Y. You know, it, it can happen as long as we B is still intact. You can get a lower price, okay? Or just like US 100. We may get from here an A, B, C. And if you count, if you count this wave, you can see this wave one, A, B, C, wave two, three, four, five. It's a clear five waves. And after five waves, we expect, uh, after, after five waves, we expect the, the market to give us uh, 61.8. This is what we expect after five waves. We expect at least the price to drop to this level before either we we'll, we'll get a buy or correction and sell again. It, whichever one, I don't know. But for now, I expect the price to drop and give us 1.8% or deeper. Then if, if it doesn't happen, it means wave five is still going up. This can be a running flat, and this can be wave three. Then five will go higher. But for now, I see it as wave five. Then I look for A, B, C that will terminate around at three five hundred or at three six hundred. Okay, so that's for the year starting. Now let's see Bitcoin. I will only show you Bitcoin. Maybe Ethereum and Ethereum. Wherever Bitcoin is going, other cryptos are going with it. So no need to you all the cryptos. Let's save our time for more things. Okay, Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin, uh, during the week, there are some friends of mine who are also good analysts. I was telling them, this might be that in my opinion, Bitcoin is no longer going down. We are not, we are buying. But some are saying it will go down again. But my own, in my opinion, this can be a broken and a retest, which means we may get this. Or let's, let me show you for hours what are you? Uh, trying to sell. Now, this ch ch channel is broken. Sometimes when the market is going, 
when we need to break a certain channel, is it comes to test it and begin to go again. I said, this can be a retest. And so I said, no, 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 we're getting a new law. Well, to me, I'm not looking for a new law. The worst I, I, I'm looking for is an ABC. That is, if it will happen. The worst I'm expecting, I can be wrong, but what I'm expecting, the worst is an A, B, C. But I will label it. Why? That's the my, my secondary, uh, that is my, uh, my alternate view. My main view is that this is a retest and we keep going up. Anyway, I am bullish on Bitcoin. Just let me go straight to the point. I am bullish on Bitcoin until I am proven wrong. What did, what, what did prove me wrong? Number one, a sharp move as you break this line, maybe do something like this and go again and break this. That's what will prove me wrong. And that's when I will surrender. But for now, even if we get price to this level, I am bullish on Bitcoin. Okay, that is in my own view. You know, those who think it is going to 10,000, I wish you good luck. Mm -hmm. But I, I the, good, the, the good news is that if you were if if to buy Bitcoin to go back to 20,000 or below before you buy, you will never buy Bitcoin again in life. So, so forget it. If, if I waiting for you to go back to 20,000 or lower before you buy, forget it. So to me, this 34,000 is the least Bitcoin has dropped. And it may not come back to, to, to 34,000 again. If you get a new high, that is 70,000 and above, forget that 4,000. You may come back to 40, but at 4,000, forget it. Okay, that will be the end of our, our analysis. Or do you want to see Ethereum? Any need for that? They are doing the same thing. Okay, Ethereum. You can see they are going up, 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 up. Let's see daily. You know, broken retest. Bye bye. You see, broken the channel. Okay, let me you see. Look at the far one. So you can see a channel that is broken, retested, and it's going up. So I don't know. To me, cryptos are going higher and higher. Let's see our darling BNB, BNB at 450 already. Okay. Broken this place, try to test it, keep going higher, 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 higher. So Litecoin is more volatile than, than many of them. It can drop sharply and it's not going up again. Okay, so which one again do you want to see? This CRO, they are all doing well. You see, so anyway, thanks for watching. And subscribe to our video, share, like, and comment, share with your friends. Remember, we have uh, we have students class for those who want to learn what we are doing. We teach you, we teach you well, and we don't charge much, and we give you time to learn. But we know some people can learn slowly, some can learn faster. So we don't trust you to learn everything. Maybe six months or one year, we give you at least two years so that you can learn and have time to ask many questions as you you you, you would like to ask. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Bye.